Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to learn a very amazing thing on of Android, and we are going to explore what is broadcast receivers in Android. So broadcast receivers are very helpful component in Android while developing a big applications, and you may see lots of example of implementing broadcast receivers in a several application. So we are going to see how to create a simple broadcast in Android. So first of all, before starting the video, I just want to give a demo or a quick, quick intro. What is broadcast receiver and why we need to use it? So for example, let us suppose you are creating an application. So for this, just if I am opening a phone screen to show what is exactly a broadcast. Without telling you definition, I am going to directly go into the example. So let us suppose if I open YouTube. So you can see if I am scrolling here, my YouTube is working fine. Now let us suppose if I close my internet connection. So when I close my internet connection, you can see YouTube is showing me you are offline. So how it is possible? So you may can say like YouTube is running a something in a background to check every time whether your internet connection is on or off. So if it is happening, then it will going to take lots of memory, lots of battery consumption and lots of CPU consumption. So this is happen with the help of broadcast. So broadcast is always you require to trigger some events. So if you change your internet connection, if you change your airplane mode to a normal to another thing, if a something specific time occur in your phone, this is the same thing with alarm application. So we are also going to upload alarm project in on our channel as soon as possible. So broadcasts are just and some events which will help to trigger something or we can say some function in your application when that specific event occur. So now let's see our tutorial or we can say example what we are actually going to create in today's video so for this i have to open my phone so you can see i open this application so this broadcast receiver is responsible to receive the event of a airplane mode so let us suppose if i change my airplane mode so you can see i get the toast of airplane mode on and if i click again so you can see i get the again if i close this airplane mode from here so i get the toast of airplane mode off so you can see this is just a events so by using broadcast it is very easy to track down what is happening inside a phone so if you want to let us suppose you are working on an application when you want to figure out let us suppose user reboot their application so you want to perform something user restart their app or user switch off their app and switch on again their app and user change the internet connection user change the battery status user change the time so on that time you need to register that events or we can say you have to track that events and then you can behave your app accordingly according to that events. So we are going to create a simple broadcast but you can create a complex one as well as it is totally depend on you what kind of usage you have and what and what kind of application you want to make. So don't forget to delay now let's start the video and if you don't like the video till now then please like the video and if you don't subscribe the channel till now then please subscribe the channel. So now let's start the video. So first of all, what we have to do, open your under studio and go to files and click on new and new project. Now select empty activity, click on next, give any application name. So I just give here broadcast receiver tutorial. You can give whatever you want. And I'm going to use Kotlin because Kotlin is trending and Kotlin is good rather than Java. But if you are a beginner, then I will recommend you go with Java. But if you know some Android basics of Android, then it is better to write code in Kotlin. So now the project created successfully and we are going to create a broadcast for our airplane mode. So for this, first of all, now one thing I want to say, there are two things in broadcast. First of all, we need to create this broadcast and second thing, we need to register that broadcast receiver. So there are two ways to register broadcast receiver. You can register it statically or dynamically. Statically means you can register your broadcast inside your manifest file and dynamically means you can register your broadcast on runtime and inside your main activity.kt or wherever you want. So I am going to use dynamic method but you can also use static one as well. So first of all I have to create a receiver. So for this I need to create a separate class where I am going to implement the broadcast receiver method. So for this just give a right click here the new then Kotlin class file. You can give any class name it is your choice. So I just give here airplane mode change the receiver. You can give whatever you want and click on OK. So it will create this class. Now this class should extend broadcast receiver, broadcast receiver. So this is done. Now 
we need to change it to constructor invocation first of all and now it will implement going to implement some members so implement member and this is the first member on receive so whenever we are going to receive this event we have to perform something so this is the main logic of broadcast if whenever we receive some any specific event regarding to that purpose so we are going to perform something now if i am receiving this event then it mean my airplane mode is chain on or off but my airplane mode is triggered we need to create this thing here inside this on receive method so well is on or you can give whatever you want so inside this i need to mention their intent here so first of all give a better variables name here so which is context and this is intent so intent and then after this what we need to do we need to get this so get boolean extra and it will return us true or false so it will going to return the state of our airplane mode i didn't mention the airplane mode till now inside our main activity so don't worry and don't confuse just write the code with me and i am just passing a default value false because by default the airplane mode is always false so now if is on true so it mean my airplane mode is is active so on that time i have to so a toast of toast dot make text and inside this i can pass the context and second thing i need to pass here active or you can give whatever you want and you can also perform whatever you want to perform inside your application you can also perform and if it is on or i can say if is on equal equal to true and inside else part what i need i need to perform this airplane mode off or you can give any message it is your choice so this is done now this is just a class to taking the event or for receiving the event now we have to mention the which kind of event we want to take from our application so for this open your main activity dot kt and here we need to mention all things so first of all declare a variable for late init where just give the variable name receiver and the type of the variable is airplane mode receiver type airplane mode change receiver now we need to re receiver equal we need to create assign the class object here so i assign this receiver inside this now we need to use the intent filter here so intent filter inside this intent dot and now you can see these all are broadcast methods or we can say broadcast events so airplane mode change battery change battery low so maybe you see lots of application which will indicate you whether your battery is low or not bug report create document so we have a lots of events inside our android and it will going to create our lots of help to create a big application so now inside this we need to mention what we want so we are going to create a broadcast for our airplane mode change so action airplane mode change we are going to use this and after this we need to apply our receiver here so first of all also Kotlin is have also given now we need to register our receiver so register receiver this is inbuilt method and inside this we need to pass the receiver here you can see so this is very easy and inside this we need to pass this intent filter context here so you can see we just create this airplane mode change receiver this is just a java kotlin class and it doesn't have any kind of relation with this airplane mode change receiver this is just a name but the main thing if you want to trigger any specific event you need to mention here inside intent filter action mode if airplane mode going to get change then we are going to get this receiver inside this so as we already know we just are working with airplane mode thing so i am just checking here that's why if airplane mode state is true or false and if it is true then we are going to show active and otherwise we are going to show airplane mode off so this is the so this is just the working of simple broadcast receiver now the best practice to create the code always create your functionality of the or the working of the broadcast it is always better to unregister the receiver otherwise it will going to take a lots of battery consumption and lots of cpu consumption as well so for this first of all override an on stop method and inside this we need to just mention here unregister receiver and pass the receiver variable here so that's it so our application is ready now it's time to check our app whether the app is working or not if it is working fine then we will end this video so application built successfully and it will going to install the application inside our phone and application installed successfully so first of all let's change our airplane mode so if i change my airplane mode so my phone is lagging airplane mode on so you can see i get the toast active and if i off this airplane mode i get the toast of airplane mode off 
so i hope guys you learn something basic about broadcast receiver how to implement them and what are the usages of broadcast receiver so we will going to explore more about broadcast in the upcoming videos and we will going to definitely create some big application with the help of broadcast receiver as well because broadcast receiver have a lots of context and lots of thing we have to learn about broadcast and this is also important for from an interview point of perspective so thank you guys we will going to meet you soon in next amazing video thank you see you soon